Oh, sorry. Just busy being an American. Funny, right? Good morning. Does anybody remember what it is to be an American? I'm serious. Do they? You know, I see five core values. I say American values. If we were all focused on that, the country would be, it would get back in place. You know, we're human beings. That's a sad thing, right? We're human beings and human beings, they just take advantage of things. That's just the way it is. And we've had freedom and good things for so long that we just think we'll always have it. We don't have to do anything to preserve it. But hey man, look back at history and you'll find out that that's not completely true. As a matter of fact, the country started because people had to reclaim what are now American values. So what are the five values I say at the Van Tac Nation are American values? Number one, I say is freedom, right? Freedom to be and do what you wanna do as long as you don't harm others to live where you want to live, to say what you want to say. Freedom, it's what America's all about. The next, I would say independence. To be independent, right? That comes with being free. Independent, you depend upon yourself to be what you want to be, to create, to do great things, to raise your family that will honor your values. American values, your, your moral values. The third, I would say, sovereignty. Sovereignty, right? You are, just like God made you, you are your own nation within yourself. And it comes through freedom and independence that you now have strength to believe in yourself. You know, people wonder why Americans are so, what they would say, almost uh, egotistical. It's because when you have independence and freedom, you feel sovereign. You feel like you should feel, like God wants you to feel. And that's why the Constitution, the Declaration of Independence, written by Christian men that valued God, a relationship with God, made these things for us to be protected from our government. If it ever wanted to intercede and take over like the Queen of England was doing when we left there and made our own country. The fourth value, justice. To be just. To do what's right and to make sure other people do what's right. To be fair, whether you live in the city or you live in the country. And the fifth American value, duty. Duty to your family, duty to yourself, meaning honor. Honor is a gift that a man gives to himself. Duty to yourself, duty to your family, duty to your community, and duty to your country. Those five values, those five American values are being lost. Lost because the vast majority of citizens have forgotten how important they are. And the vast majority of people don't realize that everyone has to stand up and secure those. You know, when you look at the extreme left and the extreme right, there still is common ground. There should be. If there's not, it's time for war. Because what is the common ground? We don't need a $21 trillion national debt. I talk of it all the time. I just wish the government did. Because you see, they're responsible for it by promising and giving and promising and giving. And let's face it, there's some things that have come out recently make it apparent that there's been some theft. Maybe a whole lot. We can pull the country together, but everybody has to do it. You know, I read a story today, and I am so tired of people bashing the police. I'm sick of it. I am sick of it. So I'll tell you what, if you follow my page and you just have to bash the cops, leave my page. I don't care about the single cop or the couple cops that do something wrong when there's hundreds of thousands of people. Listen, I've been there. I've done it. I was never shot at in my personal life, but I was shot at a whole lot, saving people and protecting people that I didn't know. And I didn't ask anything for it. 
just my pay. That's it. So I'm not going to listen to anybody who wants to bash on that. And I was never in the military, but I served as a policeman with a lot of people that were in the military. And I respect the fact that people, even in, in a time where there's no combat, have to leave their families and, and be somewhere else for six months at a time or a year. Do you, do you have any idea the commitment that takes? Do you know how hard that would be upon? I, I don't think I could do that. And then throw them in the combat. And they come and they, they come back blown up and then, and then people want to just treat them like garbage and, and say that they're warmongers and baby killers. I'm sick of it, man. You know, I posted something the other day about how it's on purpose. There's a big problem in the country and it's on purpose that people are dividing. A community that is against the military and a community that's against the police department, it's anarchy. Look at what's going on with Virginia, with the governor of Virginia. The guy is treasonous. Listen, citizens of Virginia who are standing January 20th and, and coming together, don't stop. Don't stop by just stopping the laws that that governor is attempting to pass on you. Not only is he infringing on the Second Amendment, he's blatantly violating it. You need to get rid of him, get him out of the office. You need to do everything you can. You need to stand together. you got to make him an example of what it is to be treasonous in the government against your people. I've never seen anything like it. And I'm hoping that the citizens, patriots, gun owners, just people that believe in the Constitution, throw that guy out of office where he needs to be. Let him live the rest of his life embarrassed by being destroyed by American citizens because he was trying to take away their rights. The fact that you are a gun owner and have never done anything wrong and someone's trying to violate your constitutional rights and take your property just because, it's, it's time that it stops. And you can do it. And you people that want to bash the cops because, oh, they enforce the laws that you don't like or that are unconstitutional. Listen, cops don't make the laws. If you want to do something about it, stand up. You know the beautiful thing about what's happening in Virginia? When the people got mad and started standing up, the cops said, great, because we agree. The idea that every law enforcement officer should quit when a law is passed that somebody thinks is unconstitutional, let me tell you something. Let, let's just pretend like that could happen. Let's say every cop quit. Do you know what would happen? They would fill the ranks with people that didn't care about the Constitution. Then you're really going to be in a tough spot. Enough. Enough! Don't you see, divide and conquer is a great military strategy, and it's what's happening in this country. I, I'm tired of talking about it, and then people will get on here and post, oh, well, those people, or this, or that. You know, there, there's differences. There's no doubt. But so what? It's okay to be different as long as we don't harm one another. But this division is destroying the country, and it's our fault. Listen, there's only, what is the number, 536 people in the United States government that's making these decisions? There's 330 million of us. Who can we blame it on? Ourselves. If you've got a problem with the law, if you're disappointed about something, then damn it, go do something. But you don't want to get off the couch. You got to watch the game, right? Or you got to go fishing. You know what, man? You're responsible and so am I. So do something about it. But stop blaming it on everybody else. Sure, there's radicals out there. You're not a radical for standing up for the Constitution. If you don't care about a lot of things, that's okay that you're right as an American, but it's your duty to protect your country. And my God, if you have children, it's definitely your duty. It should be your number one priority for your children. Because regardless of how much money you may leave them, if they live in a hellhole of a country with no rights, then what's the difference? Now is the time to stand up. Remember what it is to be an American. Remember freedom, independence, sovereignty, justice, and duty. You're an American. Be one.